Hello everyone, we're here for more Final Fantasy X. Now when we last picked up, uh, our home of Xanakand had been attacked by the evil creature Sin. And we're making our way down the highway to salvation, I hope. Let's do this. 20 you laughing at, old man. Or on this right, such let's a get out of here. What do you really expected? Huh? Give me a break, oh, man. man. Give me a break, man. Give me a break, man. Man. Ah, oh, more of these assholes. A lot more of these assholes. Oh, this doesn't look like it's gonna end well. Things start to flicker. Okay, we need to kill those ones with the flickering wings, otherwise they do a special attack. Take that. And another one just comes to replace it, of course. Ow. I too, when I get hit, have numbers to come up. And there's another one. <laughs> this could be Great. bad. That. No, no he down. What? Trust me, you'll see. Trust me, you'll see. Okay, we've got to knock this thing down. What's this? Yeah, yeah. power break. Uh, nah, that won't really work. Lowest attack damage or anything he hits with it. Okay, we need to knock that thing down. I'll probably speed this bit up. Fish it. Fish it. Fish it. Fish it, fish it, fish it. Oh, no, it's like something fish it, fish it now. Oh, I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna hit it. Oh, 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 my guy is like so much lower health than a Warlord. Look at me, my name is Warlord, I have lots of health. Hey, there we go. And kaboom! Whoa. Whoa. Well, there goes our dad's face. Scrapers exploded. What were they keeping in that? Like all the barrels from Half Life 2. <laughs> Sudden graphics change! This isn't the graphics in the exception. I mean, what more do you expect from Square? Oh no, we're getting sucked up his butthole. God, that is horrible. You are sure. Uh, Oron has incredible power to talk to bum bum holes. This is it. <laughs> I understand the bum bums. This I was actually theory that Oron was gay. I'm like, what? Because apparently he's a gay icon. I'm not really seeing it. It all begins here. Okay, it's the second time someone said that. Okay. Hey. Oh, that was tense. Hey! You right back here? Yeah. Hi, hi. My old man. Why is it this game and Jay's? I mean, I like Jay's as much as the next man, but this is getting rid. Oh, it's our city. Xanokant. Wait, is that our dad? Yeah, that is. That's Jex. Oh, no, I'm swimming. Wee. <laughs> 
Okay, we should seriously actually go down to him now. Okay, going down, going down. Okay, we're about to reach him. About to reach him. No! Oh. <laughs> oh, it's ours as a I kid. thought about a lot of things. Like where I was, what I got myself into. I started to feel uh, lightheaded and then sleepy. Well, I don't blame you for those jays around. I think I had a dream. A dream of being alone. I wanted someone, anyone beside me. So I didn't have to feel alone anymore. Yay! No, actually, that's quite touching. <laughs> oh. I think this is the Baj Temple. Baj. Braj. Yeah, Braj, Braj Temple, I think it's called. It's your buddy. Anybody there? Oh yeah, sure, there's gonna be other people there. Orange! Stop talking about oranges. Hey! Hey, 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 what's all the noise about? Oh, okay, this place is actually kind of creepy. But, I do believe we can... Oh, actually, no, no, that could be giving away spoilers. Okay, I won't say anything. Oh, we can actually swim underwater. Because apparently, like, the people in this have, like, freaking gills. And they never seem to run out of air. That's one thing I never understood about a tent. Is it, like... Because I've read all of the lore about this game. Yep, I'm that sad. I read all of the lore, and I still don't understand how the hell they can seem to breathe forever. Like, seriously, I could submerge him underwater and then, like... Oh, what's this? Introduce to Albed. Find Albed Prime is able to say the strange Albed language. She yeek dra Albed mlaka plasin un vig. Scans memory cards of his... Uh, oh, no, I know what this is for. Um, basically, you can do sort of a new game plus mode, sort of. Um, there's this language in it called Albed. And you can find key items around the world that will translate one letter at a time. And obviously it's impossible to have them all at the start of the game. Uh, so a lot of the time you can't understand what some of these people are saying, because it's even subtitled in our bed. This language they've made up. And basically if you complete the game once and have saved data where you have all of them, you can use that sphere for when you start a new game to basically start it being able to understand everything they're saying. Which is quite useful. It does actually say some interesting stuff. And a lot of the time it just sounds like it's heek, rekek, meek, neek, neek, Just better than that. I should never be allowed to make my own language. Kiranese. Here's a clue. Every single word starts with fish, ends of head. Oh, of course, treasure chest. Now, guys, you all know the number one rule for RPGs. If you're going the right way, you're doing something wrong. Always head the wrong way, the long way round, because they're always going to have treasure or stuff like that. Oh, it's a handsome statue. Oh, boy. Oh, my clothes are all wet now. Which that still does beg the question, what is he wearing? Like... Oh man, I wanted to do like the spinny spin. Beyblade! Oh, what's going on here? Fused... Oh! Fish! More fish! Fish heads! Fish heads! Ah, oh, the battle music. That bit there kind of reminds me of the final battle in 7, where it flashes between their faces. Kieran is 
of lyrics quickly. Oh crap! Cutscene! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, what is my mum doing in this? <laughs> no, that, that was <laughs> It's okay. I totally got this. Uh, hey, dudes. I'm gonna... I'm gonna hit you with my big pointy bit of metal now. Okay, and he's facing the wrong way. <laughs> yeah, sorry about this. This is uh, one of the features of... Uh, of the um, emulated version. <laughs> It, uh, sometimes the bosses and the characters face the wrong way during certain fights. I am getting my PS2 back soon, so we're going to play this not on an emulator, which will fix this issue. <laughs> For now, I'm afraid you're going to have to just deal with bosses facing the wrong way sometimes. <laughs> Sorry about that. Oh god, run 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 Oh Oh boy That was close And the incredible backwards facing boss almost killed us As if they were facing away from each other, and then just going, ee, 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 I hit you. <laughs> it's I had made it out of the frying pan and into the freezer. I'd made it out of the backwards facing boss. I thought I was going to die in this place. Oh, God. Sorry about that, by the way, guys. Okay, let's explore this bullshit place. Oh, well, this looks nice. Everything's redeemable, you know, get a bit of interior decorating. Maybe a few lights, a few pink lampshades. Hello. That was my good friend, Neo Gandhi. Neo Gandhi. How did he move those rocks by himself? I mean, they were, like, huge. Well, they're made out of styrofoam or something. So I wonder this temple fell down. Need... Fire. Dude, you're meant to be a Final Fantasy character. How can you be hot or cold? Oh, wow, we have access to the menu. Okay, we come here, no abilities. And have one overdrive. I think I'm going to heal myself before we go any further. Okay. The remains of a campfire. With flint and tinder, you can set another fire. Okay. But ignore that for now. Oh! Isn't that convenient? I just happened to know where the flint was! Hmm! Right. You guys what you could pretty much consider this a walkthrough as well. I'm going to be trying to do all the optional stuff as well. Like, uh, cause this game has so, so many side quests. Like, I'm not even kidding. But the thing I like about it is all the side quests, or well, most of them, at least to get the extra Aeons, okay, the summons, actually have their all, like, um, their own little backstories to them. And they actually add a lot more to the game. Which is why I'm gonna be doing them. Because there's a lot of stuff you won't understand without doing the side quests. Especially on the uh, character of Seymour, who we meet later on. He's an interesting fellow. Right, now we're going to head down here. We're going to save and light that fire. And I sure do hope no backwards-facing boss monsters attack us. Yeah, yeah, let's save. 
safe. BS on that. How did he light that fire that quickly? I mean, look, the floor is drenched. There's freaking waterfalls in that room. He had a tiny bit of tinder and, like, just some rocks and he was able to start a fire. I can understand maybe if he did the whole Final Fantasy like, magical BS, but, like, he didn't even have that. He just hit some rocks together. He seems to be taking, you know, the complete and utter destruction of his I city quite food. well. I need food! So, yeah, everyone I know and love is probably dead, but... Hey. Whatever, basically. What do, what do you, you want? want? Spaghetti. It was a bad call. Your team lost because of you. You came to say that? Yeah, dick move. It's been ten years. Since you did your first poo poo. I thought you'd be crying. Who? Me? You cried. Yeah. Uh, why does he only have one of those arm guards? Huh. Also, yellow, blue, and red. Those are some ugly colors. Hey, wait, to go wait. To like an outfit Don't go out on me. Nah, nah. Just hold on. I'll get more wood. Uh oh. We're in trouble. Did that monster just do that to show off? Does that look what I can do, mummy? Okay, this boss is gonna actually face the right way this time. That's good. Take that. Now you're gonna miss. Eh. Eh. Okay, yeah, the battles do get a lot more intense than what they've been so far, by the way. We're only at the start of the game, so literally all we know to do is just hit them with sharp objects. What's happening now? Uh, guys, you could have just opened the door. I mean, you've been a bit over dramatic, don't you think? Whoa. Okay, I swear, officers, it's not mine, I'm just holding it for a friend. Introduce our first party member. And now the boss is facing side? backwards. Cool. Of course. Special items like grenades are special effects when used. These items can only be used when about setting the special bits of use. Use. Grenade. Ow. Oh no. Special use. Grenade. And the funny thing is, these grenades and stuff literally have hardly no use whatsoever after this one bit in the game. Well, at least I never used them. They're, that's just because I'm MLG Pro. Totally. Oh, how much health does this have? Oh, there we go. Just as I say that... Now, you've got to have the Final Fantasy Victory thing. S level 1. Ability spheres. Yeah, this game has a big thing for spheres. You'll find that later on. Uh, of course, an obligatory shot from behind. Man, they are really dramatic about tiny little details in this, aren't they? Grogors! Phew. <laughs> that was close. Hey, 
Let me go. Yeah, so these are the Albed. They basically speak a different language that you can't understand without getting these lessons. But basically in this bit they're saying, um... Basically in that bit they were saying, um... He might be a monster in human form. And they were like um, arguing whether to kill him or not. And that woman uh, was just like, no, don't kill him, he could be human. Let's take him back to our ship. And then she said sorry and punched him in the gut to knock him out. So that he wouldn't like uh, be able to remember where their ship was. Because the outbed in this are kind of outlaws. Uh, but you'll find that later on. They basically use machines that are forbidden by this world's religion. Because this word religion believes that machines are what causes the big monster sin to attack things. Because a thousand... Oh, no, no, that'd be a spoiler. No. Right, wacky wacky. Kid, it's my job. Ow. Hey, that hurts. You don't say. Sujek, rain. Whoa. That gun has a needlessly large barrel, like seriously. I mean, that one, the knife on, makes sense. The other one, not so. It's like a freaking musket. Penis! Okay, I swear he just said penis. Right. Oh, I love charades. Is it, um... Okay, uh, four words. Um... Uh... I said I don't understand. You're a fish head. There we go. He said you can stay if you make yourself useful. She speaks English. You, you understand me? All right, I'll work. Yay! So now we're working for the shady guys with guns. Oh my god! I, I don't know what I just did. And over here is our first Albed Primer. The secret of the Albed language is what A equals A. Probably gonna cheat the rank of Albed. <laughs> But yeah, basically we can pick them up. And then as you see here, you'll notice some of the layers have actually changed to like A's, where they were wires before. And he just gave us some potions because he's our bro. Okay, let's go over here. Save again. Right, we'll do a little bit more and then I think we'll end this episode. I think we need to... Oh, almost forgot. Almost forgot what? Using the Sphere Grid. The Sphere Grid is used to develop your characters by activating nodes of spheres. Let's see how this is done. Select Sphere Grid from the main menu. The cursor appears at the center character's composition. Use up, down, left, right, blah, blah, blah to move the cursor. Who would have guessed? Information upgrades is displayed at the top. This information is for defense upgrades. This one lets you learn an ability. These upgrades locations are called nodes. Activate these nodes to upgrade your characters. A character must be on or adjacent to a node in order to activate it. Let's go through this step by step. If you press X, the cursor returns to the character's position and a list of commands appears. If you select move, the number of steps the character can move is displayed. The number of steps the character can move is equivalent to his sphere level. Sphere levels are gained by getting ability points, which are obtained by participating in battles, aka okay, experience points. A character must fight battles to gain AP and raise sphere levels in order to move around the grid. In short, if the character does not participate in battles, he will not grow stronger. In this case, Pragon has four sphere levels, so he can move up to four steps. In general, you should be careful not to rush, or you may forget to activate nodes. So let's take one step and learn the ability to cheer. Note that you only have to be next to a node in order to activate it. Once you select a destination, you automatically uh, spend a uh, quite amount of sphere levels and the character moves. When the character arrives at a destination spot, you will be asked to confirm the move. Confirm by selecting yes. At this point, the movement process is complete and cannot be cancelled ever. If you want to activate nodes you passed over, you must spend sphere levels to go back. When you're, when you're ret retracing your steps, you can move four steps with sending one sphere level. However, backtracking every time is not very cost effective, so plan ahead to avoid wasting sphere levels. 
Okay. Now that the couch is in place, let's activate a node. To activate a node, you must use spheres. Oh, tutorials. Spheres can be obtained by various means, such as defeating enemies. Press X. Now select Use. A list of spheres currently in stock is displayed. Every sphere has a special function. For example, power spheres are used to activate strength, defense, and HP nodes. Ability spheres activate ability nodes. Who would have guessed? Nodes that can be activated are the nodes at the character's composition and nodes one step away. You've said this already! This means nodes immediately ahead or behind the composition can also be activated. <laughs> this example, there is, in this example, the only node that can be activated, the ability node, so you need to use an ability sphere. When you select a sphere, the nodes so that that sphere can activate the composition are highlighted. Select an ability sphere highlights the one adjacent ability node. When you select the node you wish to activate, the node will light up and the character will learn its ability. Note that one ability sphere was used during this process. Use the same procedure to improve the character's strength, magic, max HP and MP. Power spheres, magic spheres and speed spheres are needed to improve each corresponding attribute. Also, every node on the grid can be activated separately by each character. This means that a character can reactivate a node already used by another character by moving on to it using a corresponding sphere. Note that locks cannot be opened at present. Another tool will become available once you're able to open them. Now that you know how to upgrade your character, just take a look at other useful features of the sphere. Oh, for God's sake. You can count current status by pressing triangle. Yep, yep, that's very good. Oh, yep, mm hmm. Uh huh. Yeah, yep, yeah. oh, interesting. Use this information to you upgrade your characters. Press L1 and R1. To switch between characters. I was panicking there because I hadn't set L1 and R1 still. <laughs> This is useful when you wish to complete, uh, compare characters as stats or when you wish to quickly upgrade multiple characters. Press select to zoom in and out for a better view of the grid. Oh, that is big. This concludes the Spear Grid Tour. Try improving Pragon now. Okay, let's uh, improve him. So yeah, basically, to simplify that Marvel Group Jarbo, as you, uh, you don't really level up in this, you get Sphere Levels. You use them to move um, points on the grid. And then when you're next to something, if you get these little spheres you win in battle, you can activate them. So this one's an ability one, we use an ability sphere, we learn the ability. So we learn cheer, which I think does something like raises our attack or something like that. She has no sphere level, so I can't move her. If I did, however, have a strength sphere, I could activate this and raise her max HP. So people in this don't level up naturally, you actually have to choose how they level up and what abilities they learn. Which is quite cool, actually, I guess. It means you can really customise your characters. But enough of that for now. I'm going to end that there. And in episode 3, we might get off this damn boat and out of these tutorials. Anyway, whoever you are, whatever you're doing, have an awesome day, and I'll see you in the next episode. Hello, everyone. First of all, I'd like to say a big thank you to everyone who's viewed the Final Fantasy X videos. They've got quite popular very quickly and I'd like to do a shout out while I'm here I'd like to do a little shout out to Sam's Final Fantasy he's got a great channel over there he too is playing Final Fantasy 10 and he's also done a video um, to help people or uh, let's players and whatnot get a bit more recognition and also I'd like to give a shout out to Dog Minded Sif as well who plays mainly Nintendo 64 games and stuff like that he's a really good let's play and he's actually the one who got me into let's plays but thanks everyone, hope you enjoyed this episode, wherever you are, wherever you're doing, have an awesome day.